What's up everyone, in this video we'll learn to fix the unsupported file error on your smart TV. Now depending on your television, the video file either be missing or it would be there but the video or the audio would not be working. In all the cases, the video covers a permanent solution for that video file. I will be testing the file on Samsung and Sony smart TVs but the fix should work on all the televisions. As you can see, on my USB, I have two video files and a few folders. If I open the same USB on my Samsung television, I can only see one video file. The video file with extension M4V is missing, but MKV is available. Let's move to the Sony TV. The same is happening here. We can only see the same video file. At this point, you would know that smart televisions don't support some extensions such as M4V. Now, what we will do is take this USB out and insert on our computer. The best solution is to convert the video and I also have a free converter which will not add any watermark and you most probably have that software. We'll be using VLC Media Player. Download and install if you don't have already. So, I have pasted the video file to the desktop to clear all the confusions. What we will do is open VLC Media Player. Under Media, you will find the option titled Convert slash Save. Click on that option. On the screen, click on the Add button and add the video. If there is any subtitles file, then you can add that after checking the option next to the video option. This will add the subtitle file with the video. I don't have any, so I will skip this part. Now click on the next button. On the next screen, we will select a profile. This will change the video extension. Now television supports extensions such as MP4, MWV, MKV, etc. And here we can't find any of those, but there is a separate option for MPEG which is also supported by televisions. Now, there are two options, 720 pixels or 1080 pixels. I would recommend selecting the same size. So how do you find the size of the video? It's easy, just right click on the video and then go to properties. On the next screen, go to the details page. See the frame width and height rows. In our case, it's 1920 by 1080 pixels which means the video is in 1080 pixels. In VLC, we'll select the same 1080 pixels and then choose the destination. I'm going to save the video to the desktop, but I will change the name to distinguish between the two. Then I'll hit start. Depending on your video, the process will take some time. Once the process is finished, copy the video to the USB and try to play on your television. Here is the video on my Samsung Smart TV. You can see the video and the audio and the video are working fine. If I move to Sony TV, you will see the same. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope the video helped you fix the issue. Please let me know what you think and if you have another solution, feel free to share. You can subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos too. Thanks.